Everyone join me in talking about the nine new Pokemon coming out in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, starting with Dust Like and Rock. Are you ready? Here we go! Dust Like and Rock, you beat Assembly, you beat Thirst, you beat Adhesive, Zera, Aura, Ultra Lunala, Ultra Sunaleo, Ultra Necrozma. Say it again. Come on, Dust Like and Rock, you beat Assembly, you beat Thirst. You be adhesive, Zera or Ra. Yummy. Ultra Lunala, so the Leon Necrozma. Cool. So much to do, so, so much to see. see. Ultra Lunala, Ultra Spaleo, Ultra Necrozma. You be adhesive, so you be first. Assembly, dust like and rock. Come on. So much to explore in Alola now. So much One year see. later, what's some more? Come on, yeah. everyone, now clap your hands. It's time to celebrate this awesome we game. Go. Yeah. Ooh. You be adhesive, you be <laughs> first. You be pop. Assembly, dust like a rock. Zero or rock. Ultra, ultra, la, la, la. Ultra, so the layo. Ultra, the cosmo. Okay, oh, now Pokemon. this is getting kind of boring. Let's go. Now, Nico, Mia, tell us some more. Let's go. Hello everyone, Nico me here, the craziest Pokemon YouTuber you will ever meet. If you enjoy weird stuff like that, well buckle your seatbelts folks, there's more to come. Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon is coming soon. It's coming like a train that's never gonna stop. A train that, you know, we don't really talk about this. Um, yeah, on your obituary it says you got ran over a train. Hey, I'm just telling you, you know, I see the future. Uh, you know, watch out for that train. It's coming fast. The hype train never ends. Today, I am talking about all eight, nine including evolution, new Pokemon that are coming out in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Let's start it off hot with the, uh, the most boring Pokemon of the bunch, the new form of Dusk form lichen rock this thing is rock it has the new move accelerock this thing is uh gonna be given as a mystery gift from november 17th to january 10th you have a big range i think no one's gonna want to get this thing okay no it's cool it's fine it's orange uh you evolve rock rock rough at 5 to 6 p.m and here you go new dusk form of lichen rock i don't want to waste any time on it okay i'm not saying he's a waste of time but i mean he kind of I mean, we have other more important things to discuss like dusk main necrozma this is the solgaleo form of necrozma i call it ultra uh solgaleo i think it sounds cool that way it's still still psychic it's still rocking that cool typing uh with sun steel strike and photon gazer photon gazer being given to both of necrozma's forms both solgaleo and lunala forms uh as new z move zirin sunrise smash and the new ability prism armor which makes it so any super effective move on it only does a fourth does a fourth less damage which is really really good get that defense from dark types and fire types and all that jazz no longer will solgaleo die instantly by fire types even though it's the sun pokemon i know it's ridiculous how in the world is the sun pokemon weak to fire but i digress we also have Dawn Wings Necrozma, which is the Lunala form. It has Moon Geist Beam, Photon Gazer, the Z Move, Menacing Moon Rays, Maelstorm, and the also the ability Prism Armor. Uh, very cool. Lunala, always my favorite. I think this thing looks rad. I think both of these things look so cool. As I say uh, later in the video, I'm going to talk about the design. I think the design of these two legendaries are very well done. I think they master both the creative side of Pokemon and the menacing side of legendary Pokemon. So, very, very nice. I'll talk about more at the end. We also have Zeraora, which is a new mythical Pokemon in the same vein of Celebi or Victini. This thing is electric. At first, I think a lot of people are going to dislike this thing. They're going to look at it and be like, oh, who's that Zorark impersonator? I thought Zorark was the impersonating Pokemon, not getting impersonated. Yes. This kind of looks like an electric form of, like... Uh, like uh, Lucario and uh, Zorar combined, but it still looks amazing. I think this is the type of Pokemon that we're all going to hate at first, or a lot of people are going to dislike uh, just because it looks similar to other Pokemon, but we'll end up loving. This thing is awesome to the bone. This thing is everything an electric legendary should be, uh, especially a mythical legendary. I think it's really, really cool, not just clickbait, you know? A very, very nice Pokemon. I can't wait to see how it is. Its base stat toll is pretty high, and it's very, very fast on its feet, so I'm excited to see where this thing goes in competitive and just to catch this thing it looks rad 
I keep saying rad, please kill me. Yubi Burst, now this thing is insane. He is the clown Pokemon. It has the ability uh, beast boost like all Yubis have, but as the new move, Mind Blown, where hear me out, it loses half, half of its HP and then does a huge boost of damage. It does tons of damage. Uh, you sacrifice half its HP and then it literally throws its head. The head explodes. <laughs> I'm not kidding. This thing is going in. He's going in. Like, he is dedicating his life to this Pokemon battle. It is the fireworks Pokemon. Don't tell Katy Perry. I can see her singing. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting through the wind? Baby, you're a firework, okay? I. Fire Ghost. Okay, can we talk about that? Fire Ghost. The second Fire Ghost after Chandelure. And, you know, it really pains me to see this because Chandelure is such an amazing Pokemon. But Chandelure is also no longer the strongest Fire Ghost Pokemon out there. UB Burst is this. Thing is incredible it looks like the circus and has uh, such a cool gimmick and design behind it very 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 cool and then it's friend UB assembly who is in pokemon ultra moon uh ub burst being an ultra sun which kind of stings a bit because i want to get lunala so i won't be able to get ub burst but someone better trade that mother trucker to me because i need it now anyways ultra beast uh, assembly is a rock steel, not the best typing. This thing is big. He's probably really defensive and bulky and cool and all that jazz. But literally, throw this thing in earthquake and he's dead meat. So you know we'll 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 work out the kinks eventually. We'll hopefully we'll find some type of uh, weapon of some sort the two use with this. We'll give it an air balloon and try to hope for the best. But it's a very cool Pokemon and I do like it. It's the only UB that looks kind of more of history in the past and ancient whereas other ultra beasts all look like they're from the future this thing looks like it's from the past i really appreciate the design of this one and then whew, this thing is a huge huge fan of me i'm a huge fan of it we are each other's fan base it is UB Adhesive Poipol and Naganadel. Now, I thought when I saw Poipol, the first form of Adhesive, I was like, hmm, this is Frieza's little kid. Well, apparently I was wrong. It has even cooler parent. Naganadel is UB Adhesive Poipol's mother. And Mama came to kill. Mama is here to sting you to death with its poison dragon realness. Chandelure isn't the only old Pokemon getting completely just thrown in the dumpster after this so is dragalag sorry dragalag uh from pokemon x and y you are no longer the only poison dragon and you are no longer the best poison dragon because this thing is here to dominate it's said to be a gift pokemon uh which you know it's whatever it's gonna get dragon pulse when poipo the first form gets dragon pulse then it evolves in nagan and Dao. this thing is ready to pulse you in the just d demolish you all freaking syllables demolish okay this thing is going to be a huge, massive special attacker. It has a great special attack, great speed. Hit someone with a Draco Meteor, a Gunk Shot, a Sludge Bomb, a Sludge Wave. This thing is going to be great. Uh, it's pair I think pairing this up with a amazing, amazing Hilego. Uh, you know, you can have this doing Sludge Waves out there in the mist against all the fairy Pokemon. And then uh, Nihilego won't get any damage to it. You know, I think this is going to be really cool. It looks like a cool killer wasp. I am a huge fan. And finally, a Pokemon that, you know, Ultra... Necrozma. I am not saying I'm I'm not okay. You know, I bought my tickets to the show, but I'm not really excited. Like if I see a good eBay or a StubHub offer, I might sell them off. Uh every other Pokemon I've seen so far that is from Ultra Sun Ultra Moon is amazing. The design is spectacular from inch to inch to pe to pixel to pixel to pixel. It's great. Ultra uh Ultra Necrozma. I'm not a hater, but I'm not a lover yet because you know, my major issue with Pokemon like Reshiram, Palkia, Dialga, uh, Zekrom, they feel more like Yu-Gi-Oh! or uh, Digimon or some type of Dragon Ball Z enemy uh, boss type thing. Not like a Pokemon. I think Pokemon like Ho-Ho, Lugia, uh, who, uh, Xerneas, and Yveltal pull this off amazingly. Solgaleo and Lunala do too, where they really mix... Pokemon creativity and spunk and art style with that menacing legendary big aura of just raw awesomeness and you know you look up, up to this huge legendary Pokemon you're like that is menacing that is amazing that is mythical it is beautiful it is everything I've ever wanted okay this just kind of looks like you know it doesn't look it doesn't, it doesn't give me full Pokemon vibes it kind of looks like Stardust Dragon it looks like you just pick this off of a Dragon Ball Z like make your own enemy type 
character creator thing. I'm, I don't know. I'm not a fan yet, but who knows? In game, I might like this thing better. Uh, it's just that we see UB adhesive, Zara Aura, UB burst, UB assembly, these creative, amazing Pokemon designs. And then you see this thing, you're like, eh, I mean, it's a dragon with wings. But, you know, with all Pokemon, and I want to end this on a good note, every single Pokemon from Gen 6, 7, 5, when they were released and announced, everyone was such a big hater. You know, people are still raging about Gen 5 Pokemon. People are still raging about some Gen 6 and Gen 7 Pokemon. They will always rage until a few generations pass and they appreciate it. Just think about it. Say Generation 1 came out right now, so many people would be complaining that dragons like uh, Dragonite was just a dragon with wings, or Charizard's just a fire-breathing dragon. Like, oh, that's so boring, that's so generic. Or they'd be like, why does that turtle have big guns coming out of it? That's so weird. Why do they make that happen? And Blastoise, you know? Why did they make a, just, they literally just made a glob of glob and muck, you know? People would be so mad about new Pokemon if they were Generation 1 right now, you know? If Generation 7 was Generation 1 and it came out right now, people would be really mad, I think. And then eventually they learn to love it because people like, you know, Pokemon like Charizard, Dragonite, even though they're kind of simple or... Pokemon like Muck is just random. They're still great Pokemon designs, just like a lot of these Pokemon are. A lot of people are going to hate on Pokemon like Serena or Pokemon like even people are going to hate on uh, Zara Aura. In a few years, everyone's going to be loving Zara Aura. And, you know, you can be on that side. You can be on that loving Zara Aura from day one side. I love these new Pokemon. I think Pokemon did a great job developing Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. I am shocked at the amount of great new Pokemon we had. I thought it was just going to be Lunala and uh, Solgaleo and Ultra Zekrom form, and that'd be it. Uh, but no, we have lots of cool Ultra Beasts. We have lots of cool uh, new forms. We don't have any Alola forms, but it's fine. Uh, you know, we're going to get Pokemon Generation 8 on Nintendo Switch, and you might not even be able to get Alolan forms. You know, they're not from Alola. Uh, so it's not like they're brand new Pokemon. I'd rather take new Pokemon than new forms of old Pokemon that are, you know, just kind of reskins with maybe a new type, you know? So I am a big fan of these new Pokemon, and I cannot wait to play Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon on November 17th. Thank you for watching. For more Pokemon Sun and Moon news, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, Nintendo Switch, a Pokemon news, you know, we're gonna be getting lots of news in the next few months. Make sure to hit subscribe. Apparently, YouTubers are dying, so fetch me a bone and let me live. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, Pokemon fans. I'll see you later.